So the story goes that a police officer was shot by a perp at close range with a 40 caliber pistol, but the police officer was saved by his badge, which stopped the bullet. It's a stellar story, all right. An officer saved by his badge when shot at close range. But did it really happen? Let's get in place and do it. Okay. Well, to find out, Adam steps up with an identical handgun. Gun is loaded. And he's aiming at a standard issue silver police badge. This is called a star. Now, we had this specially made by the same company that makes them for the police. This one is made out of sterling silver. Could it really stop a slug? Range is hot. Clear to fire. Three, two, one. It's a direct hit. So what's the verdict? That doesn't look like it stopped it. Shot the top of the star off. She's no bulletproof. No. The bullet clipped the star, but passed right through the dummy. I can see the path of the bullet right there, heading all the way up through the gel and exiting there. And that would make any dude one dead duck. Silver itself is obviously not the hardest of metals, so it's not terribly surprising. But in this case, it didn't seem to do anything at all. So what's up next? Well, silver's out. Next up, we've got a badge which is called a shield, and it's got a copper back with a bronze star. OK. It's a different badge, but will it be a different result? Gun is loaded. Adam lines it up in his sights. But just like test one, he hasn't hit it dead center again. That was low and to the left. And that's stirring up some shooting rivalry. What's that you were saying about uh, being a better shot than I am? <laughs> and for bronze on copper take two, it's a much better shot. Oh, looks like I slid off the star. Yep, he's hit the center star. And this time, the results are surprising. Look at that. Unlike There's... every other bullet we've fired that's gone all the way through, this one is stopped in the middle. So that extra piece slowed it down. It slowed down significantly. Uh, there might actually be something to this. Although the bullet was definitely slowed down, it was still a lethal shot. So it's on to the third and final badge. Nickel badge with a bronze star. It's tougher than the others, but is it bulletproof? Okay. If I have to hazard a guess, I don't think that this, even with these two pieces of metal, is going to stop this bullet. Well, there's only one way to find out. How did I do? Amazingly, the badge actually catches the cap. Whoa! Dude! And just as amazing, for the first time that I can remember, Adam's speechless. Holy cremoly. The bullet struck the star dead on, and the shield stopped it flat. The wearer can thank his lucky stars because he'd be safe. If I was a policeman and this happened to me, you know what? I'd still wear the badge. It'd be <laughs> like, I've already had the worst day possible. You can't make it any worse. So while bronze and nickel fail to deliver, gold goes to the nickel. A bulletproof result that slates this story as plausible.